continuous integration came out of the development world. The idea is that we have code as a developer. One developer's off over here and they're writing their code. Another developer's off over here. And they used to go for weeks or months without integrating their code together. And what we found is there's a couple problems with that. Number one, it's really hard to go for long periods of time without integrating code because we forget what we were working on when we wrote it. Number two is once you've got more than one person doing that, you've got multiple people forgetting what they were doing. And then not only that, we're dealing with the highly complicated activity of integrating code together. And the longer time period that is, the more code that's there, whatever. Continuous integration is the idea that we can do this integration continuously. And it's an absolutely key piece to continuous delivery, to continuous deployment, to continuous testing. We have to be able to integrate our code often in order to do testing on it often. We have to be able to deploy often in order to test on this code often. For most testers, for most managers of tests, continuous integration is not something we've done before. We haven't gone in and set up a Jenkins job or a um, bamboo job or whatever your circle CI, whatever application you're using for continuous integration. How do we participate in that? How do we learn it? Well, one key way to learn anything is by doing it, right? What I find when I'm training people, when I'm working with folks, is I find that I put examples in front of people, I do tutorials, I make them do the thing that they're learning and they learn it better. So if you're a tester and you go out and grab Jenkins, which is open source, and pull it down on your machine and create a build job, and just have something compile. It can be Hello World. Go get a tutorial and spend two hours learning Hello World if you've never done any programming before. If you've done some programming, maybe that takes two minutes, right? But download that, set up a job to run it, and figure out how it works, and then try working with different builds and whatever. I suggest working with your developers, sitting down and trying to understand what's going on. Um, one of the things that I think with testing that we can do more of is integrate with these other teams and not be worried about what we don't know. You know, I think the biggest thing with syncing up dev and test, and the biggest thing in, we're gonna talk about continuous integration as well, um, is, is the mindset. I think it's shifting a mindset. It's always about the people. And it's the people that are gonna make this work, the process that's gonna make it work. It's not any tool, it's not any methodology. You can use a methodology and provided you have great people that follow the methodology, you can have great results. So where most people get stuck with these types of things is they get stuck at the people level. We get stuck talking about what to do instead of actually doing it. We get stuck um, being concerned and having fear about what's happening next. Uh, I see teams that don't wanna move ahead with continuous integration or continuous delivery or continuous deployment or whatever it is. And they're stuck because they fear what's gonna happen next. So one of the things that happens with continuous integration and continuous delivery and test automation is people say, hey, we have this shifting world underneath us. The whole earth is moving underneath us. And we don't know what we're testing on anymore. We don't have one release that we're testing on in one period of time. And that's uncomfortable. But progress happens because of discomfort.